What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, lots to talk about here. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar, I am renovating my entire basement and we are building out this entire room here for mining. Uh, it's a long process and I'll have lots of updates on it. I have an entire uh, playlist as well as a video that comes out weekly giving you guys an update on our crypto mining basement renovations. So keep an eye out for that. Definitely to talk about this and definitely to talk about this one of many that we're installing. That's my, that's my Easter egg, my uh, hint hint to check out the crypto mining series uh, for the renovations on the basement that will come out tomorrow. So we'll be talking a lot about this stuff here. So in today's video, we're actually going to go ahead and talk about this rig. I had to move it over here to get it out of the way as I was working right here uh, on this project. So let's go ahead and cruise over there. Take a tour of our mess of a basement. Talk about that tomorrow. Alrighty. We got a light on this as we are on a dark area over here. So here is our 1060 six gig rig. Uh, we have six cards total. So uh, to give you guys a high level as to what exactly you're looking at. So we have one, two, three, four EVGA single fan six gig cards. We have one gigabyte six gig and then one Asus six gig. We did originally during our build video, if you guys haven't seen, I did an entire build video on this rig as well as overclocking it. Uh, I'll put a link in the upper right hand corner as well as down below if you guys are interested in following along on this build video. So what we're running here is we have a 750 watt Ares game power supply that is getting plugged in to our, our um, I think this is C14, I believe it is, that a plug and then actually runs over to our PDU over there for our 240 volt. Uh, we are also running an HP server power supply that is a 1200 watt when you're running on 240. It's 900 when you're running on 120 to a breakout board here, not fully used at the current moment. We then also have an H110 Pro mining motherboard. We have six slots total that are filled. We have seven additional that we are actually gonna be expanding over the next, uh, I'd say two weeks. We're gonna to start to look at some 1070s, 1080s, as well as some 2000 series cards to add into this rack here. In addition to that, uh, we are using the six pin to eight pin cable running from the breakout board, going to a Y splitter and then going into the uh, GPU, which is six pin here, and then into the riser as well, which is six pin. Uh, because these cars are such low wattage cards, this splitter works with a riser and also with the GPU. I do not recommend using a splitter combination like this as you start to get into the higher 2000 series cards as well as the 3000 series cards. You can get uh, all of this tech that I listed here down below. I'll put links down to everything. Check it out. I think it's called the Hobbyist Miner uh, Parts List or Parts Document. Take a look at it. It's a Google Doc. Uh, I update it about once a week with the tech that I'm buying. So take a look at it if you guys are interested. Finally, we are running the Misfits Mining GPU hangers. There's a link down below for those as well. So what I want to do first going over this one week review. We've had this rig up for one week is I want to go ahead and shut it down and plug it in to this kilowatt uh, voltage meter. Um, so this will go ahead and give us uh, better numbers than Hive OS regarding what we're doing exactly from a total amount of watts here. So let me go ahead and shut this sucker down. I'll get this it plugged in and uh, we'll see what we're doing. Okay, so we went ahead and unplugged our two 40 volt cables uh, that go back to our PDU. Uh, we did go ahead and run into 120 here. So we have, the way we have this is here's our feed power right here from the wall outlet. It's just an um, extension cord. Runs into our kilowatt meter. Uh, as you guys can see, it's currently on zero. Uh, and if you guys are looking for one of these, I'll put a link down below in the description. Uh, and then we go ahead and that wires in here. And here's our power for our ATX power supply and our power for our HP server power supply. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on the server power supply first. Oh, hang on, gotta turn on the power strip, perfect. All right, so let's turn on the HP power supply first. There we go. And now we're gonna go ahead and turn on our ATX. 
which will go ahead and give power to the motherboard. Let's go ahead and hit our power button over here. All right, CPU is up and it's powering up here. And we're going to give it a little time. We're at 101 watts right now, 102. So we're going to let this sucker climb and I'll cut back here. And once we're mining, we'll take a look and see what we got. So I gave it about five minutes. Let's go ahead and take a look. Hive OS reported we are mining and it's a little hard to see. There we go. Much better. 600 and I'll say 30 watts. We'll round it up right there. So 630 watts right now is what we're running on this one rig. Ooh, that was crazy. Uh, going ahead and mining Ethereum. We're at roughly about 120 to 125 uh, mega hash right now mining Ethereum on this. So let's go ahead and jump over to the computer, look at Hive OS, take a look at our hash rate, take a look at what we're making currently daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly. Okay, so we're over on the computer here, and uh, as you can see, we've been mining for about five minutes now, um, and we're at about 126 mega hash. You know, it definitely varies, as you guys know, uh, all depending on how things are working out. So the hash rate per card definitely fluctuates, um, you know, over 20, just under 20. Uh, it definitely is all over the place. Some things I've run into with this rig is it seems like, and I haven't narrowed it down yet, and, and this is a unfortunately false representation only because of the fact of rebooting, but of getting a lot of invalid shares on this rig. It seems like, and I haven't nailed it down yet, that one GPU seems to have, like is my culprit, but I can't figure it out. And then it causes all of them to have invalid shares. So if you guys know how to narrow that down, please let me know. I have tried... A bazillion different overclock settings and i'm still running running into this issue where i'll have a number of invalid shares across the board on this entire rig in one day just drives me nuts so something that i'm i'm figuring out uh, this is not plug and play you don't just plug it in and then you're done and you're good to go as you guys know uh, mining is work mining rigs are work you know there's always something that you need to address so Doing well so far, uh, 126.4 as of right now, uh, as we talked about. So now let's go ahead and, and kind of see where our profits lie. And this is as of June 22nd at 10.20 uh, p.m. Eastern. So jumping over to what to mine here, if we select 1060 and we put six of these in, it is saying that our hash rate should be about 135. Well, we're definitely not there. We're at 126.40 uh, with these cards. I would imagine if you had a handful, you know, of of ones up there, and and maybe after some time we can get this up there with some more critiquing and overclocking. Um, you know, we can get there. Maybe I'll do. If you guys remember the other week we did a live stream, and we spent about four hours working on one card because that was that Zotac that we sold. Uh, maybe I'll do that again and work with the community to kind of fine tune this a little bit better. Uh, anyways, so let's jump over here. So we're going to put in 126.40 and then our, ha our, our wattage, we're going to do uh, 630, which is what we saw on the voltage meter. Uh, as for our cost, we're going to go ahead and put the cost for our uh, power that is ready to go. And we're going to go ahead and hit calculate. Okay, so we've gone ahead and hit calculate there, and uh, let's kind of take a look and, and see exactly what we're getting. So as of right now, tonight, um, June 22nd at 10.20 p.m. Eastern, Ethereum's gone crazy today, crazy. Uh, it's been all over the board. Uh, what I, I did a video yesterday versus today, Ergo and Ethereum were like neck and neck. Now they're completely apart. It's just, it's the Wild West right now uh, within the industry. So taking a look at Ethereum, uh, let's see here. So per day on Ethereum, uh, if we're at 126.4 and 630 on our power here, now uh, $8.07 and our cost is $1.11 per day. So that takes us down to $6.97. So that being said, uh, per week, that puts us at $48.76. Per month, two dollars, uh, two hundred eight dollars and ninety seven cents. So this is this has dropped pretty significantly. Uh, if we look, go over to Coinbase, or I'm sorry, Coin three sixty, 
Coinbase is another phenomenal website. You can see we're down to like a sub 2000, sub 2000 right now um, is what we're looking at. So that being said, uh, if we took a look here uh, per month, if we did 208.97 times 12 months, that puts us at 2507.64 uh, four. so $2,500 a year on this rig. Um, so definitely not in the best of places right now, but the market is, man, the market is crazy right now. So my mining strategy, and I don't know what yours is, feel free to leave a comment down below. My mining strategy is to mine as much as we can and hodl it. I have actually never sold anything that I've mined. I hodl everything right now because I it's kind of like a, a, a mid to long-term investment for me. It is not a, I'm not in that situation where I need to mine today to pay for bills tomorrow. Everything that I mine is, is hobby. It is extra. It is fun. And it's a future investment for me. So that being said, we're going to go ahead and follow up on this rig uh, in a few weeks. We'll see where the market is at. In a few months, we'll see where the market is at and follow along with this rig to see exactly how we're doing. The last thing I wanted to go ahead and look at was taking a look here at kind of how much we've mined so far, uh, just to give a final kind of idea as to where we stand uh, with this individual rig. So let me go ahead and load this up here. So hi, we're mining to Hive Pool right now. And I'm just gonna update here. Okay, perfect. So here is where we stand uh, as of now. And this is what Hive Pool is showing versus what we're seeing uh, on the flip side, which is over on what to mine. You know, these numbers are all gonna are all gonna vary a little bit, but really check your pool. What to mine is great. It's a great estimate, but your pool is gonna give you significantly better information, um, which is exactly what you want. So this is showing here per day, we're making 6.66 USD. That puts us at 0 0.00333 Ethereum. And then it shows uh, per week, we're about $46.64 at 0 0.02332 Ethereum. So that kind of gives us an idea as to exactly where we stand at this point, uh, taking a look at payouts, Let's see, does it show us more information? It doesn't. I was, I was curious to see there. So we haven't been paid out yet. Uh, we're at 30% of our payout. There's been a lot of dips here um, because I've been doing a lot of renovations on my basement and having to power things down like here. This was when I had electrician out, so I powered off all my rigs. So, you know, there there have been some time periods that I've had sh had the rig shut down. Uh, if we look here, that's per week. Yep, you can see quite some dips in there, a huge one right here. So as things gradually calm down, uh, we'll have less dips, which will give us more profitability. But as of right now, I'm, I'm renovating the basement, and that's not really going to change at this point. You know, right now, as you can see, look, big gap right there. So guys, that's it for today on our six by 1060 six gig rig. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a like that helps out the YouTube algorithm a ton. And what that actually does, if you guys are curious, if you guys give it a thumbs up and you comment in any way, shape or form, that is actually positive engagement. And YouTube recommends this video to other miners out there searching for the same things that you are. So if you guys did enjoy the video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.